Hi there, my name is Eduardo. I am the incubation engineer for MLOps at GitLab, and today I'm going to be giving an overview of GitLab model experiments and MLflow integration at 15.11 uh, version. So everything that I, I show over here is already available on GitLab.com and for self-managed customers at 15.11 upon enabling a feature flag. So what is model experiment tracking in the first place? So when we are training a machine learning model, a machine learning model is a combination of three components, the code that you run uh, to create the train the model, the data that the, the, the model is trained upon, and a set of configuration parameters that you pass onto the model or to the code or to the transformations that we call hyperparameters. Each one of these components, if we change, we can change the, the, the we will change the performance of the model. Um, so for example, a common practice, we have hyperparameter tuning, we'll try a whole set of hyperparameters and see what is the best performance. A candidate is a set of these three components, code, data, and hyperparameter. And an experiment is a set of candidates uh, that are comparable between each other. So once we have many variations of these candidates, uh, we group them into an experiment to see what is the best candidate over time or over a, specific, a short period of time. Um, and that is called an experiment. An experiment tracking is a way, is a tool, is a registry that tracks all of the candidates that were created uh, so that we compare, it tracks all of the artifacts as well that were created for each of the model candidates um, so that we can go back and, and trace the lineage uh, later. And I'm using the term candidate or model candidate because each model candidate is a candidate to become a model version. So we're talking here about uh, experiment tracking, but there's another component called the model registry that comes on the next step, uh, which has versions that are uh, shown, uh, that are exposed to the application and versions that are tracked by product metrics. While on experiment tracking, we track a lot of different things that but the experiments are more uh, measured on uh, model metrics like accuracy or uh, uh, AUC. And yeah, so two different things. Each candidate can become a model version eventually. So you can think, think of the difference looking at the DevOps lifecycle. Model registry is more associated to packaging and releasing uh, a model while model experiments is more associated to creating and uh, to the create and verify stage on uh, on the DevOps lifecycle. And how we're tackling this? The most common, most popular tool for uh, model experiments or experiment tracking is MLflow uh, by Databricks, highly used by community. Uh, it has a great client library, well, great SDK. Um, it defines models well already, like all the different possible libraries that you can use to create a model. It already has some integration with them, large user base, open source, it's very popular. But it doesn't have some of the features you would expect from a, uh, we, we would want from uh, a tool to be used inside your corporation. For example, it doesn't have user management. You have to deploy. so somebody will have to go and create an internal deployment of MLflow. Um, it doesn't integrate well with the other, or there's no out of the box integration for other tools. Um, so that's where GitLab comes in. You, we use the client for MLflow and we re-implemented on uh, GitLab side, uh, we made GitLab as a backend MLflow. So experiments, MLflow experiments are tied to a project, it gives user management, if you want to track registry, uh, track artifacts, we can already log them directly into the GitLab package registry. Data scientists don't need to set up um, anything. You just change your URL and it automatically works with GitLab. So what was achieved on 15.11? I will not give a full demo uh, on this one. Uh, I recorded a demo. You can see a little bit over here, but you can. I will, I will attach the link below later. But on 15.11, uh, we consolidated the storage of artifacts. So now you can uh, save really well. You can save an artifact from MLflow client into GitLab. It will organize all of the candidate artifacts for you uh, very nicely. 
uh, we released uh, to all the users. Uh, so all users have access to to, to mod experiments now on gitlab.com. Uh, you are able now to delete experiments and candidates and you can download the experiment data CSV. This was all achieved on 15.11. Um, but what about the next steps that we're looking at? So there are three ways we can go with this, with uh, with evolving. Now that it's released, we, we are gathering feedback and there are three ways we can move forward. One, we can improve the feature set itself. So for example, um, improve mod experiment itself by adding display for images of, of, of curves that you generate for, through your model. We can add graphically comparison of, of candidates like MLflow does and many others. Uh, we can also improve the search that is very uh, simple now for candidates. Um, just better candidate management uh, on, on the on the on experiments. Or we can start looking at how does mod experiments fit into the platform? How we can use the information that we collect from mod experiments to improve your merge request experiments, for example. So you create a merge request and that merge request creates a lot of candidates. Um, we could display, display the best already into the merge request itself or integrate better with pipelines. I don't know, add comments, a lot of things. Or we can do something else, look into a different vertical, a different uh, area to, to work on. And that's what we're gonna do. Um, model registry. This is the next step for incubation engineering MLOps. Uh, why? Because model experiments, mainly because model experiments need model registry. Uh, we already had feedback from, from users uh, that already gave a, a shot at the, at the mod experiment feature and they love how easy it is to set up and everything, but since they don't have a model registry, the art artifacts that have nowhere to go to. We want to give users the ability to manage the whole life cycle of a model directly on GitLab from the creation, from code review, from pipelines, to the experiment phase and then into model registry so that you can, you can later deploy uh, your application. So it doesn't really matter how much effort we put into model experiments if we don't have model registry in place and that's where we are going. We will also be following the same uh, guidelines or the same design principles that we had uh, for model experiments we will aim for minimal changes for data scientists that already use uh, some kind of tool uh, by integrating with MLflow client also for the model registry. Um, and so zero setup, zero or keep code changes at a minimum. Uh, and yeah, this is where we're going next. This will be, a, 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 we'll already be starting on this as soon as next week. Uh, so I'm very excited about this new direction. Um, so that was it what I had uh, for today. Again, model experiments is already available if you want to give it a try. Um, you can also, uh, there's an epic for this, uh, the feedback issue. Uh, you can check all of my updates on the handbook and on the docs. Uh, the, those are the docs for experiment tracking if you want to get started. Thanks for watching and have a good one.